because I thought, yeah, I think this is a this is a time to start thinking about resiliency. Um, some of you know I work at a um, co-working space and we're preparing after the government's announcement of um, returning. So it's not open, but there's a long road to get there. And um, as we um, started with this preparation, um, what became really clear to me is that we've all, we're all gonna be coming back in a different way. Some, some you know, can't wait to embrace this, this connectedness again. And some are still very um, concerned and everything is valid there. I think what resonated to me more than anything was this notion of being resilient. And um, one of the big things about resiliency is that there are certain elements that we have, um, some more than others, and there's these common factors about bouncing back, like what makes one bounce back after being down. And let's face it, it's been a tough few months that we've had um, for all kinds of reason. And what they found in a lot of research, and this is stuff that I love, uh, particularly with Brene Brown, who, who does a lot of research on, on this stuff. Um, resourceful people are people that are problem solvers, individuals that seek help so whether that's you know with with uh self or with physical self it's someone that isn't afraid to ask for help i can tell you in the last two years um my emotional bank account with my friends has you know i've withdrawn a lot because i've needed to but i had to to be resilient and i think that's a that was a, a tough thing to do um but now i know that i'll be there for them because i feel stronger um, they also have a strong social support. So um, the interesting part about that is that, you know, we haven't been able to be face to face, uh, unfortunately. Um, so we now have an opportunity um, to remain connected. At, like we have, we're coast to coast on this call. We have someone in British Columbia and we have Nova Scotia. Like it, it, it can happen and it's just that matter of willingness. And it's not to say that this would ever replace our face-to-face -face, um, communications or connections, but just knowing that someone's behind this. And that's why when I send out emails or feel comments, engaging with you has been so fruitful for me and I feel that spirituality that connection um, with you um, so as we go through our practice today um, you know I'm just going to start to initiate that thought process within yourselves when do you ask for help when do you pull back when do you ask for help for yourself um, we may do some poses today that are like ah, I can't hold this that long um, and that's okay you, you know, asking for help from yourself and recognizing that, that is part of being resilient. Um, so I'm gonna congratulate you now. I also wanna, um, I also want to recognize a couple amazing instructors that have joined me today on our, on our practice. Um, Barbie, where are you, Barb King? Hi girl, and Heather Braden, both. If you've ever get the opportunity to practice with these two phenomenal women, um, by all means, grab it, because they are like, Everyone's different. We all have our different styles, but you get so much when you uh, when you participate. So great to see you, Barb and Heather, um, and thank you for joining. So let's um, start on our mat again. I'm going to uh, riff off our, our bit of meditative practice that we did last week towards the end of this practice. I have a really awesome meditation on self compassion. So go ahead and find a comfortable seat on your mat. And we'll start here where we have our, our best version of the people that we arrived to. Okay, so for those maybe forgetting that want to pin me on your video, you just go to the three top buttons and just pin video and you can see me. You don't want to see anyone, that's cool too. So just finding your place on your mat. I'm going to do a volume check here. Thumbs up, you can hear me okay? There, I just turned it up. Thanks, Linda. So as we find ourselves on our mats, I want you just to give yourself a little bit of a body rollover, twist, find some comfort in where you came from. And I invite you just to close your eyes down or 
just look down. And as you do so, I want you to feel your legs on the earth. So your mat or your block, wherever it is, I want you to just kind of give yourself the opportunity to arrive. And as you draw your inhalation in, let it fill you up through the rib cage, through the shoulders, through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, lengthen the front of your body and draw your shoulders away from your ears. Increase your awareness of this vital energy, your breath, prana, yama, and consider your breath as a blanket coming in, wrapping itself around you, holding you, and then exhaling to that beautiful space in every step of your back, your vertebrae. Bring the notion of stepping into a resilient self, a resilient body to your consciousness. Consider the moments where asking for help seemed so far away, so unattainable, and the joy when you have. Draw the side body even longer by taking the arms all the way up overhead, interlace the fingers, draw your palms to the ceiling, spread the sides of your body. As you inhale, just roll your shoulders and draw them to the back body. Remain there just for another breath. And then bring your hands forward. So start to bring your arms forward to actually make a C shape with your body. Bringing your arms, pushing and curling the tailbone under. And then inhale, lift up, draw an arch to the back. And then exhale, go ahead and take the arms to either side of your body. Push down into your fingertips and then just move your hips in a rotation. Just one little rotation at a time. And then rotate in the other direction. Doing this, just giving your pelvis and your femur bones the option to experience space. And just float and let your shoulders float away. Take your legs, draw them together. If you're sitting on a block, bring it away. And just extend your legs out forward. Bring your hands to either side. As you draw your fingertips to the ground, push your thigh bones downwards, taking a length for the hamstrings. And then take the top of your pelvis and just draw it forward, recognizing what it's like to give the hamstrings, the back of your legs, an opening. We'll come to this again in various postures, but this is the posture in itself. Good, and then take the head, bring it over the spine, over the rib cage. Then the right knee, bring it into the chest, bring it in nice and tight, lengthen the spine. So now use the body as a tool to lift through the crown of your head. And then just switch sides, take the other leg into the body, lifting the crown of the head again, drawing attention to the breath and the notion that we are all connected, every one of us, just by this small gesture. Take your legs and draw them around you. We're gonna float our bodies into tabletop. And as you do so, I want you to feel a soaking of inwards to the deep fluids of the body. So go ahead and move the body, almost like the bones are floating in the fluid that surrounds them. Take your hands, draw them to the top of your mat. Send the earth between your thumbs. Come into a modified plank, already into a strength position, feeling each cell of your body participating. And then draw your hips to your heels and come into a modified child's pose. Exhale, draw the body back over into a modified blank. And then send the ripple effect back to the hips. I want you to notice that you're actually milking the joints forward into a modified plank, back again. 
Take your time, and as you do so, remind yourself that we're here for the long haul. We are here to tap into self, bliss, and awareness. Let your next hip back, draw yourself all the way up, come into a kneeling posture, lift the arms all the way up, and then draw your hands to the back body and just open up so we're protected back bend by having the hands to the lower spine, just opening up, reminding ourselves too that being protected sometimes just means opening up, being a little vulnerable, lift the arms all the way up, and then bring your hands to your hips. Recognize to balance on your knees, shift your weight slightly to the left, send your right foot forward, and then draw that knee past the toe. As you do so, feel the left hip open up, and then take the left arm, reach up, take the right arm, draw it upwards in this beautiful forward low lunge. Exhale, bring your hands to either side of the foot and pause here. Again, in every cell of the body, celebrate your arrival. Push down deeply with the right foot, take the right arm, reach up, come into a beautiful opening twist. Here the heart lands between the shoulders, and then draw the hand to either side. Send the leg long, come into that small hamstring stretch again, and then bring your hands to either side of your foot. Take the front foot, draw it back, and simply switch sides. Take the other leg, draw the hands on the hips, and turn the knee past the toe, coming into a right opening through the flex. Take the right arm, reach up. As you do so, Make notice of how the skin participates in this fully. Other arm reaches up. Take that beautiful small back bend protected by the contraction of the muscles on the bone. And then exhale, take your hands to either side of your foot. Knee is over the ankle. Take your left arm, reach up, and go ahead and reach for the sky. Imagine yourself coalescing inward for togetherness here in this moment. Exhale the hand all the way down, send the hips back, and then move away from the foot to lengthen that front leg, another little slight hamstring. Good, bring your hands back to either side of the foot. Bring your hands to the ground, curl the back toe under, lift your knee off the ground, and we're gonna take that front foot and swing it back into downward facing dog. Our first downward facing dog in our practice. Go ahead and become familiar with the heels reaching to the ground. Draw your shoulders away from the ears and feel a certain sensation from the fingertips to the elbows, to the elbows to the shoulders. Inhale the tippy toes all the way up. Send your thigh bones back and then draw the heels down again. Bend the knees, look at the top of your mat. Take a walk step or jump forward into your first forward fold. Bend the knees. As you draw your hands to your elbows, imagine drawing through into a, a goal of your own. Perhaps the goal is just to be very obvious with your body today. Maybe it's to reach some sense of hope, knowing that hope is a conscious decision. Consciously let the fingers draw themselves down, bend the knees, lift the heart, draw yourself all the way up into a seated, beautiful posture here. In chair pose, draw the belly towards the spine. Imagine the muscles wrapped around the legs, hands come to heart center, Exhale all the way down, lift the hips, and feel your own body within your skin. Remind yourself that you can ask for help in the body. So as we draw the hips back again, you come into that powerful posture. Is this enough for you? Do you need to come down further? Would you like to be generous with your body and lift a little higher? Choose a conscious choice. Hands come back to heart center. Exhale all the way down, lift the hips, come into a little more of a forward fold, and ask your head, shoulders, mouth, just to relax. Bend the knees again. This time, take the right leg back, 
and then just toe heel that left foot out. So really drawing the thigh bones together, look up and come into a beautifully strong lunge. Looking up towards, again, that exterior you. Celebrate internally, pull the inner thighs together, walk up the leg and pause here in high lunge. Inhale the arms all the way up. Imagine the strength required just to absorb this. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands to either side of the foot, hands to the ground, and then take that right foot, swing it back into downward facing dog. Once again, find home here, draw the heels down one at a time, bend the knees, look at the top of the mat, send the right foot forward, and then the left. Go ahead, feel every body part in your soul. Draw yourself halfway up, celebrate here. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, scoop up and around, come back into that intense pose. Decide where and how you can help yourself here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Float down, lift up again. Inhale, halfway up, feel yourself floating, and then rise all the way up, tall mountain, hands come to heart center, and feel the essence of your heart beating in this moment, completely surrounded, knowing that you are supported, you are connected, inhale the arms up again, exhale, float down, hands to either side. Inhale, halfway up again. Feel that subtleness, the pulse in the body. Exhale, down again. This time, take the left foot back. Toe heel the right foot away. Look up, pause in this lunge. As you pause in this lunge, draw your thigh bones away from each other in strength, in solidarity. Exhale, walk up, pause here. Continue to draw your back thigh upwards and come into high lunge here again. Feel yourself connected to the ground as the energy pulsates through you in a way that is meaningful. Hands to heart center. Exhale all the way down. Taking that front foot, swinging it back again. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and draw your heels down one at a time. Give yourself the opportunity to feel the earth from here. Inhale up to the tippy toes. And now we're gonna take a little bit of strength with us as we draw and ripple the body over into a high push-up, high plank. Option to come to the knees at any time. Stay here for a full breath. Curl the toes under if you're on your knees. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. This is strength. Here is strength. It's there for you. You don't need to sequence to it. It's inevitable. Come up onto the tippy toes. Roll over again into that high push-up. Onto the knees if you like. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Trust yourself here. As you bend the knees, look at the top of your mat. Pull into the shoulder blades. Use the upper body to help the lower body to jump forward. Walk if you like. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Recognizing and celebrating that we are all connected. Part of something bigger than us releases our commitment to worry and anger and fear. Sit back, inhale, come back to the strong posture. This one that you know very well. Draw the belly button to the spine, take the shoulders from the ears. Draw your hands to heart center this time. Drawing strength and balance from what you know. Push into the left leg. Pull into that right heel. Lift the right heel. Welcome some balance here. Pick up the right knee and then step it back into high lunge. Inhale, the arms all the way up. Draw yourself even further down. Hands come down to the ground. This time, take the right hand, keep it down. Left hand on the left knee. 
Draw the right rib cage under the left, keeping yourself as long as possible in the spine. And when that right rib cage knows where it is, take the left arm, reach up into a beautiful twist again. Stay here for another breath. Exhale. Option to wrap your hand around, feel the lower back, even open the heart a little more. Draw the arm back up again. Hand comes down again. Bend the back leg. Fingertips up. And as you step forward, stay with the bent knees with the hips down. Come back into intense pose. So now we say, how can I be resilient? How can I be strong here in this sequence that requires me strength? Ask for help. Maybe come up a little higher. Maybe bend forward. Take a little bit of reference to what you know. It is your practice. Heart comes with the hands. Push into the right foot. Pick up the left heel. Find balance here. Pick up the left knee and then step back into lunge again. If you wobble a little bit, what did you learn? Inhale, rise all the way up. High lunge again. Exhale, sink into the earth as it welcomes your energy. Draw the hands to either side of the foot and pause. This time, right hand on the right knee, left rib cage under the right, right arm rises up. We spread our shoulder blades. And again, we find the strength in this beautiful posture. Hand comes back down to either side. Pick up the back heel. Step forward again in that strong posture. Inhale, rise up, stay in the legs. You know it's hard, but it's not the hardest thing you've ever done. Inhale, rise up, fingertips together. Draw your hands to heart center and come to your pulsing heart. The welcome that you are alive. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands to the ground, coming through a flow. Step or walk back into a high push-up. Option to be in low push-up. Now draw your arm bones together. Remember when we talked about our shoulders, it's the top of the arm bone that we care immensely about. Put it where it needs to be. Soak downwards, keeping the core, holding through the triceps. Scoop the body down and up into cobra, hands off the ground. Again, find that subtle vibratory pulse in the back body. Bring your fingertips down, tops of your feet down. Welcome the lift from here and upward facing dog. Curl the toes under, ah, downward facing dog. Again, draw the heels one at a time to the ground. Bend the knees. Look at the top of your mat. Send your left foot forward. Drop the right heel. So coming into warrior one legs, I'm going to use my block. You don't need to. And bring it to the outside of my left foot. If you have a water bottle, you can. Other option, take your left hand on your left shin. Bring your right hand on your right hip and then lengthen the leg, okay? And then take the arms, reach all the way up. You're reaching forward. There's an expectation here, yes? So as we lift up, we expect to stay strong in the legs. Stay here, and then take the torso and bring it to that front leg, okay? So coming into a very wide base, which provides us a lot of balance, Take the arms and draw forward. So as you do so, I want you to draw energy from the inner thighs. Here, option, left hand on the left hip now, right hand on the left shin or your block, coming into a reverse triangle. This is not an easy posture. Set realistic goals. How are you going to get there? You can stay here to feel the strength, but wherever you are, Believe in yourself that you've got this. Options, keeping your hand on your shin or the block, 
Take the left arm, reach up, and find that beautiful reverse triangle. Take a breath with you as you lift through the chest. Again, the path is there. Exhale, draw the hand down. And now open up into a front triangle. Remembering that here we show three triangles, yeah? Between the legs to the top of your pelvis, from each hand to the top of your head, and from the little triangle with your hand to your leg, from your armpit to your hip. Inhale. Now use your strength from your legs and rise up again. Arms float up. Reach forward to that leg again. Draw the heel down and finish with the first warrior, warrior one. This is the warrior of the past. It knows what you've been through and it knows what it's like to be resourceful and to solve. Hands come to either side of the foot. Pick up the back heel, step in a little bit, and then a lot. Inhale, halfway up. Believe you can be. Exhale, forward fold. Believe that you can be resourceful and you will be. Bend the knees, inhale, scoop the body all the way up. Come into tall mountain. Draw your hands to heart center and feel the rise of your beautiful blue heart filled with joy and bliss and understanding that it's okay to ask for help. Coming to the other side, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold forward. Coming through a flow in this posture again. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, move away from what you see outside and stay inside. Walk, step, or jump back into a high push-up or on your knees. Celebrate again. Internally rotate the arm bones. Draw yourself halfway down. Say hello to your triceps. Scoop up. Come into cobra with the arms and hands lifted. Again, feeling each cell in your body. Option to come to upward facing dog. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. This time send your left foot forward and drop the right heel. Sorry, it's your right foot forward. I'm gonna turn this way. Your other foot forward and drop the left heel. Bring your hands to your hips, lengthen the front leg. And you've got a long stance between the legs. Inhale, lift up, find length here. Exhale, as you reach up and lengthen the side's body, feel the torso actually kind of hollow out, ready and prepared. Take the torso, draw it to that long leg. Trust yourself. As you draw the body forward, bring your hands to your hips to start. Take your left hand to your left shin or your block. Take your right hand on your right hip. Start to rotate the left rib cage under the right and stay here. Ask yourself, what is the path? What is the journey? Am I good? Know that you're better than good. You find that. Lift the arm, if you like, in this very challenging reverse triangle. Maybe the challenge is holding the posture. Exhale, bring the hand back down. Switch sides, right hand on the right shin, left hand on the left hip. Open up the body and come to triangle to the front. Arms will float away from each other and you feel the energy, the pyramids that appear in your body. Exhale. Good, put a bend in the front knee, scoop the arm down and around, and then welcome to warrior one. As you lift up, feel that language of your body. Let it communicate to you in a way that is meaningful. Exhale, the hands back down to either side of the foot. Pick up the back heel. Step forward into forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. 
Exhale, fold forward, draw the head down and back. Then the knees scoop all the way up, come back into tall mountain. Fingertips together, draw the heart and the hands together again. Relax your face and enjoy that beautiful presence of love, wisdom, and light. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees. Exhale, come halfway up, coming through two rounds of sun salutation. Hands come to the ground, bend the knees. As you push into the ground, cultivate all that you know. Walk, step, or jump back into high push-up. Go ahead, move the body slightly forward. Move away from feeling what is inadequate and move downwards into the strength of your body. Rise up, cobra or upward facing dog. Curl the toes under, downward facing dog. Good, feel the strength here of the upper body. You're gonna move into a little bit of core here. So moving from the standing, take the body back over into a high plank, high push-up. Drop the left knee. Keep the left hand a little closer to the body. Curl the left toes under and then kickstand the left foot away. As you move the body up and over, coming into a modified side plank, you can find and explore your options. This is the beauty of your body, your choice. Stay here, come into full plank. Maybe draw the arm overhead. Find your version that dictates, that tells you, you are strong. Wherever you are, come back onto the left knee. Draw the right hand back down and come back into high push-up or on your knees. Again, coming into that subtle body, the vibration. Drop the right knee. Kickstand that right foot up. Come in and evolve into a side plank. Stay on your knee or drop the foot and cross over into a full plank. Option to bring the arm overhead, maybe if both legs are down, you can lift the leg, top leg up. Find your version of strong and tap into the resiliency you know you have. Right knee down, hand comes back down. Draw yourself back into a plank and then rise up into downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal your heels. Welcome again institution you know of your own body your own version of self inhale up onto the tippy toes bend the knees look at the top of your mat walk step or jump forward into forward fold inhale halfway up exhale fold Bend the knees, inhale, rise all the way up and draw your hands to heart center. As you pause here, remind yourself that your back climbs like a ladder. It creates the space that you know and love. Exhale the hands to either side of your body, drawing yourself into Tadasana, realizing once again, as you look down at the floor, the toes come down one at a time to support you. Close your eyes down just for another breath. And as you do so, find the energy that you know is around you. It vibrates towards you, looking to lift you. And know that this energy, this vital energy, are likely those around you that you love and trust always lifting you. Draw the right arm up, reach for heaven and the earth, left arm down. Start to shift your weight into the right foot, lift the left knee, stay here. When that left palm faces out, lift the left leg. Coming into balance here, option to keep the toe on the ground still balance it's still requiring strength in that supporting leg 
take the leg, open it up, and then take the body into a exuberant star, the one that makes you shine brighter just by drawing attention to how strong you are here. Stay here. Keep shining. Option. Bring the knee back and float up into dancer's pose as you draw yourself upwards, still maintaining that long, strong body, the one that knows how very strong you are. Wherever you are, find yourself back into star. Pause here. As you float the body up, Tap the left toe down, wrap it around the right. So now your legs are crossed. Bring your hands to your hips and then draw the heart forward with the legs crossed, opening through particularly the left hip as it opens up. Back hamstrings. If you need to bend your knees to do this, go for it. This is more about lifting the tailbone. Inhale, come halfway up. Bend the knees, unwrap the legs, and then inhale, come all the way to tall mountain. Hands come to heart center just to reset. And then let your hands come down to either side. Beautiful. This time, other arm up, and we reach for the sky and the earth. Push deeply into the left foot. Pick up your right heel. Pause here. Find that strength as you lift out of the waistline. Inhale that right knee up. Draw it to the side. Stay long. Open the arms up. Come back into that beautiful star that you are. You know the one. The one that is brilliant, that is articulate, that is belief in your own convictions. Stay here. Option to turn this into dancer's pose as you draw the back heel towards the glute, lifting in this version. Hold and breathe. Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. Wherever you are, come back to the star that you are. Shine a little brighter. Good, drop the toe, bring your hands to your wrist. Drag that foot behind the left foot and take that forward bend again. Just feeling a different kind of stretch. More important to lift the tailbone than to keep the legs long. Stay here for another breath. Exhale. Good. Now bend your knees significantly. Bring your fingertips to the ground. Take the back leg, drop it to the knee, and then sit back down and look at that. Your legs are crossed in perfect, perfect position to take a, a twist. Now option, you can take that bottom leg and make it long and sit closer onto the glutes. Option, you can find your block or your pillow and you can sit on top of it. Wherever you are, wherever you are is exactly where you should be. All things have accumulated to this very moment, remember, the mind wanders to the past, to the present, to the future, and it's all in the same mind. So we have our left leg forward, left arm comes up, and just draw it behind you. Take your right arm, reach it up, and then reach it forward. So reach it towards your screen. Take the right arm and draw it across the body as you do so. Let your whole torso come with you. Inhaling to lift, bend the arm like a stop sign, hook it over that front knee, and then exhale, bring your belly button to your spine, and increase the distance away from the front shoulders. Reminding yourself, we begin to practice self-compassion when we become more loving to ourselves. Bring the head forward first, release the arm, and then draw that leg forward. And then simply switch sides. So you're going to take that top leg, bring it under. Again, option to lengthen that leg forward, 
Okay, this is a little more intense with the leg under. A pillow or a block really helps. Bringing the body nice and tall. We did this at the beginning. So I have my right leg forward. Right arm comes up. Bring it behind you. So find what it's like to be here in this perspective. Take the left arm, point it towards the front of the screen. Take the left arm, draw it across the body as you do so. Bring your torso, your rib cage over with you. And when you come as far as you can, bend the elbow, hook it, inhale, lift, exhale, twist. Imagine that adjustment where my hands are on your rib cage, lifting them upwards, and then exhaling to the twist. Again, moving away from the front of the ring. Let your eyes move. If there's any tension in your jaw, release it. Let it not serve you today. Guide your own soul to feeling freedom. And bring your head over first and then the torso. Take the leg, release it, and bring both feet on the ground. If you're on a block, let it go. And just bring your knees up hands back, and just kind of windshield the knees side to side. And learn here that we can relax and focus and relate all at the same time. Good, coming onto your feet, coming onto your back, bringing your feet close to your body, draw yourself down, draw your belly button downwards. As you put weight in your feet, I want you to start to feel that energy move from the feet to the ankles, to the shins, through the knees, through the quads, through the hips. And as you push down into the feet, lift the hips up, come into a little mini bridge, tuck your chin in, and feel the front part of your body expand, almost as though it's receiving this beautiful, warm light. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, draw it down again. Okay, coming into full bridge if you're into it. If not, you're going just to what we did. Push into your feet more to lift the hips up. Interlace your fingers now. Tuck your elbows and your shoulder blades closer together. Keep your chin tucking downwards. If you push down more into the crown of your head, or sorry, into the back of your head, you'll actually feel your hips come up higher. You can play around with this by lifting one heel at a time, both at the same time, maybe draw a leg up to the ceiling. If you did one leg, then take the other one with it. Have a little bit of fun with this, right? Finding resiliency doesn't mean you can't have fun. Keep this for another breath or two. Exhale. Good. Unwrap the hands, draw the hips downwards, untuck the shoulders, bring your arms to cactus now, put your heels on the ground, take your knees over your hips, and then just slowly draw your knees over to the right, just a little bit more core instigation, but don't drop your knees, let them hover just about a half an inch. Cactus. And then inhale the knees all the way back to center. And then draw them over to the left side. What did you call it? Cactus. Let them hover. Just your arms are at cactus. Whoever's asking that. Good question. So hold that hover just for another breath. And then drop those knees down. So just let the knees drop right down. And come into just a very kind of resourceful or a very peaceful twist. Relax your face. Draw your shoulders into the ground a little bit more. And remind yourself again that this enjoyment, this feeling is available to you always and always. It's a thought, it's a process, it's a choice. Resiliency is a thought, a process, and a choice. 
Take the knees back to center. Reset here, keep your knees to the ceiling. And then draw your knees over to the other side. Just a very restorative twist for the lower body. If you want to lift your head and look in the other direction, please do. Pause here for another breath. And then go ahead and draw your knees back to center. Here you can start to get comfortable, or if you feel like you want to do another posture, maybe you have a baby or be up in the air, you go for it. This is where you find, oh, just a little gem you call all your own. Maybe another set of bridge, whatever point feels good and right. And then just bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug at first. Lift the head and chin off the ground as you do so. Holding your body, reminding yourself of human touch starts here. Again, this self-compassionate gesture. Draw the legs down and then lengthen your legs and find yourself very comfortable as we move to our final posture. The gift you give yourself today, Shavasana. And for the next two to three minutes, connect with the beauty of your body, your head on the ground. Consider the space in your neck. Consider the volume of space of your shoulders and your arms. Consider the volume of space of your rib cage, your vital organs, your hips. Consider the density of space of your legs. Your feet, even the soles of your feet. Here, in your own presence, take a moment to congratulate yourself for making the time to care for yourself. Be mindful of yourself, of who you are. Appreciate the qualities of caring, accepting, and seeking to improve your well being by simply showing up, by not being afraid of asking for help. Insist on these qualities of goodness instead of harsh critics of ourselves, of judgment, of evaluation. Celebrate yourself. The little everyday challenges we overcome build our resilience. Acknowledge that you are complete as you are. There is nothing missing. Tap into the powers of this present moment, the immensity of this present moment. And in your own mind, Repeat or consider the sentences slowly in your mind. May I find peace in this present moment. May I be free from fear in this present moment. May I let go of worry. May I find the words to assert my needs in this moment. May I love and appreciate myself in this present moment. In the infinity of the present moment, may I find myself.
and in a very slow, meaningful way, just draw your right hand onto your heart. Let's bring compassion to yourself like a loving friend who would. Find comfort in words. Find comfort words to ourselves so we can have comforting words for others. So we can show and be there and become compassionate for others and extend this loving kindness to ourselves. Let your next few breaths entertain and slowly bring movement to your body. Let your fingers and your toes and maybe your arms wrap yourselves around even more deeply. And let your legs feel movement and then just slowly, meaningfully, Bring your knees into your chest and just give yourself a little rock. And bring your hands behind your legs and just float yourself back up to seated. Come back into that comfortable space where you were. And drawing your hands to your heart center we're going to close our practice today with the sound of one ohm. And you're all muted, so you can't hear each other. But I invite you to practice this and feel the vibration of the energy, this beautiful, beautiful, vibrant energy within yourself through the sound. Inhaling and exhaling to ohm. Go ahead, inhale. Om. Namaste. Well, thank you.